Hi, I'm Anne-Marie Eckes from the Ulham Institute from Norwich, UK, and I want to introduce the Brassica Information Portal to you. Um, we are developing this uh, portal as a resource that collects, integrates, and anal analyzes phenotypic data from pre-breeding experiments and Brassica crop data. And uh, the data collected from these phenotyping experiments are made um, accessible um, in a standardized manner. And uh, this data can then be integrated with genotypic information. So this is what the usual, uh, user usually sees when interacting with the resource. This is the um, web front page. And um, you can uh, see the source code is, um, is openly available uh, on GitHub. And uh, all the slides are on uh, and as a handout accessible to you. I uploaded them somewhere. Um, so uh, in red, you see our website. And um, so you, this is the front front end of the uh, of the resource where you can start browsing the database, submitting new data. If, if you have an ORCID ID, you can submit the population or the trait scoring or phenotyping data. Um, also, uh, you can analyze um, your data by providing a VCF file. Um, in the future, we want to pull in some uh, data from external resources. Um, if you want to automatize submission or um, do some more complex queries, um, then you can also use the um, API for that. So the way, um, so the Brassica Information Portal schema is based on crop, the Crop Store DB schema, and uh, you can interact it, uh, with it in two ways. One is through the web layer, and one is through the RESTful API, the um, BIP API. And this has been developed by um, Tomasz Kubala and um, his uh, team from eSpectrum. Um, also, to make um, our biological entities in our database more findable, <laughs> um, um, Carlos Horro is working um, on exposing it to Google using bioschemas, and he's also working on um, making our database BRAPI compatible. Um, BRAPI is also a RESTful API that will enable interoperability amongst uh, breeding databases. Um, also, to make data interoperable and reusable, um, you need on the use of ontologies. And um, currently, we're using um, the taxonomy ontology and the plant ontology. Um, also, uh, currently, we're using inter internal nomenclatures for populations, trials, accessions, and plant scoring units. Then, um, so Brassica is a very diverse species. It's basically from rapeseed and rocket to cabbage and uh, broccoli. So um, the phenotypes are very uh, diverse. And how do, you, how do you describe this in the best reusable way? And, um, and uh, for that, we had to come up with our own ontology, and that is Brato. And if you want to contribute, do so. It's also on GitHub. And um, luckily, there's the crop ontology, um, which we, we are using. So we don't have to um, bang our head on, on uh, against uh, what to describe, but only how to describe it, because they've come up with a pretty good structure already. So um, there is also um, uh, we are also contributing to the work package seven uh, in Elixir, which is talking about um, uh, MyAPI and defining um, MyAPI, um, which is the minimum information about plant uh, phenotyping experiment. And uh, in the end, we aim to uh, update our schema based on what we have learned and contributed to um, in this work package. We are at the stage where we are giving um, training workshops and get a lot of feedback. And if you want to um, do them in your own time, there's also the GitHub uh, repository for that. And we have um, now three um, ticks and F1000 for our first um, paper on the Brassica information portal. And for more information, um, just come and um, see our posters. I'm going to be around at A148 um, tonight, and Carlos is around on uh, at noon on uh, Monday. And with that, I want to thank all the contributors and thank you for listening. Thank you.